proper exciting. Paul Meenan's just turned up. You right, guys? I'm good, how are you? Dum 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 How you doing, buddy? Yes! Yes! How are you? Yeah, fun times ahead. Oh, it's a long drive. We've got the ideas, isn't it? Oh, we've got our guest, Paul Meenan's arrived. Hello. How you doing, mate? Tired. Yeah. What time did you leave? Five or something ridiculous? Yeah. What's yeah. happening? Where did you go? Yeah. There we go. We're on it. End it with a song. Oh, knackered. Long couple of days. Oh, got anything to say to Joe? Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> hello, Joe. He's tired. He is tired, yeah. Not as tired as I am. Indeed. So ready? As I'll ever be. Yeah, you're going to love this, aren't you? You love all this. Oh dear. A bit different from last time we were here, because it was just me and you. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you been an E5 member is the question I normally ask at this point in the walk down. So we're not going to Yeah. Years. <laughs> do, you know the, do you know the bloke that set it up? I've heard of him. <laughs> What's his name? I have no idea, some bloke. Paul Meenan, I think his name oh, is. Great, yeah. So Paul, just, yeah, we're going to go in the workshop and hopefully there'll be one or two learners in there that'll be quite pleased to see you. So let's go and have a look what's happening in okay. there. Okay, Paul Meenan. I didn't expect this number of you lot. Wow, blimey. So hopefully we'll have a fun day today. Hopefully I won't bore you too much with loads of technobabble, but uh, should we crack on with the day? Yeah, so we're gonna split ourselves out. Uh, some of us are gonna stay in the workshop with me for Paul for the first 15, 20 minutes, introduce uh, the work-based learners, and then he's gonna join level twos with his rig that will show the effect of DC and an RCD, something we've talked about quite a lot in the last month. And then the rest of us are gonna get interjected throughout the day. Um, and that's what's going to happen and also we've got another guest as well that will be floating around that we'll get a chance to talk to as well. So let's break out into our groups now then folks. So, interesting bit. Part of the so, mate. so you can put an IP rated trunk in it, which you can get by the way. Um, where am I from? Well, does anybody know where these two people are from? Leslie Phillips and Adele? Tottenham. The greatest place in the world. Tottenham, the most diverse community in the UK. I grew up there. It was a brilliant place to grow up in. Um, and what you'll also do then, you'll do one time and you'll make sure it trips because jobs are good and, and it should trip out within 300 milliseconds. Oh no, there you go, it's not tripped out. What's happened there? Well, what I've actually done is I've just injected 250 milliamps of DC current. Now, I don't know that because I've just done my one times test. So I'm thinking, well, this is a mystery. How do, I, how do I solve the mystery? I know what I'll do. There's a problem with the RCD. I'll push the trip button. That's what I'll do. So I'll push the trip button. No, no, no it's not working, bugger. Um, so, okay, so the trip button does not work. It's saturated with DC. So the devices themselves, if you look at the I-Delta-N of a 30 milliamp RCD, if this device was the basic device for a 30 milliamp I-Delta-N, the number of windings would be proportionate to the current that was needed to trip it. If you are saturating that device, you're effectively stunning or mm. delaying the performance of the balance of the electromagnetic field. Henceforth, it will trip, but you need a huge current. As we saw in the video, we did a ramp test on a 30 milliamp RCD and it took 195 milliamps to take the device out. 